Hey guys, I'm inside my 2009 Mini Cooper and I was thinking about tinting the sunroof. Um, it does have this thing, but this is kind of stupid. Um, so, I'm um, thinking about think and tinting it, but then you read online all these uh, things about shattering glass, sunroof glass, and if you tint it, and some people say it's a myth tinting it, but um, so I want to try to solve that mystery or myth or whatever it is. Does tinting your sunroof cause it to shatter? Um, obviously, the tinting companies say it doesn't, but then you read all these places that's with all these blogs and stuff about it did shatter it, but um, tinting does shatter it. So, um, then you read all these stories about. This is actually tempered glass, whereas your windshield is laminated glass. Um, some are moving to laminated on the up here, like I think they said Tesla and other places are going laminated glass, rather tempered. But um, I'm pretty sure this is tempered. Reading online, and let's look for the tempered sticker. Okay, there's the markings. It's the uh, original mini sunroof. Um, I can't tell if it's, it doesn't say tempered, so I assume it's tempered, just from online it says it's tempered. So we'll go that it's tempered, and um, go from there to figure out if it's um, was shattered or not. So this is what I'm going to do, let me show you. So, I bought some tempered glass. It's the cheapest one I could find. It's about half inch thick. It doesn't really matter what um, thickness I'm using because I'm going to do a comparison of tinted glass and not tinted. So as long as I do a comparison, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is tempered. It's a half inch beveled, um, one foot by one foot. And it's the cheapest I could find. It's about 47 bucks from Dulles Glass. Um, you get custom glass, it's really expensive, over $100. So what I'm going to do is I have two of these. And one of them I'm going to tint. I had this tint from before, so it doesn't really matter what kind of tint you're going to use. So I have a roll of that that I'm going to use. Let's see. It's actually made for windows, so it's like a reflective thing. So, like I said, I'm doing comparison. So I'm going to build a box. I already cut my wood to build my box that will go around it. And then I'm going to put some foam around this, the box, to help insulate it, and I'm going to instrument it with um, thermocouples, with temperature sensors, and uh, let me illustrate that. Okay, let me see, so basically, I'm going to make two boxes, like that, that's one. Then go make another box. Like this. Okay? Then I'm gonna have my piece of glass, which is gonna fit inside the box, on top of the box. I'm gonna say this is I'm gonna go ahead and tint this one. I'm gonna tint the bottom, the, the bottom portion of it. So, the box would pretty much be sealed and insulated. So, I'm going to measure the temp on the top. This is for both of them. I'm going to measure the temperature underneath the glass. And I'm going to measure the temperature inside the box. Then measure the temp outside air. So for this one, the temp on the bottom, I'm going to actually put two because what I'm going to do is if I draw the bottom of it, this is the bottom view of this thing. So I have the tent, but I actually I'm going to take away a little piece, a little whole piece of the tent. So I'm going to put the thermocouple, the temperature sensor, 
right on the glass. And then I'm going to put another one on the film. So I have another temp on film. So this will give me the temperature on the top of the glass, the temperature underneath the glass, and for the one with the tint, it will give me the temperature um, on the film and on the bottom of the glass. This already has the bottom of the glass. Temperature inside the chamber and the temperature outside. So I'm going to build my box. I'm not going to film that because it's just a wooden box, outside box with foam around it and not bore you with that, filming that. So let me build the box and um, you join me again. Okay, awesome. Built the boxes. See that? Then put the uh, foam around it. So um, basically I'm going to use, I had a sheet of this sitting around which is one inch thick um, insulation, foam. So what I'm going to do is cut that and put it around the outside and put it on the bottom. There's no bottom wood because I really don't need it. Um, because the foam will be on the bottom. So I just needed the inner wood to support the glass, which is like this. So I have one here, um, instrumented with temperature sensors. I'm going to have another glass here that's going to have the film on, instrumented with temperature sensors and, and, and um, put them both out in the sun and see what happens. So um, let me cut some foam and go ahead and glue it to the two boxes. Okay, here's the thought. Here's my one and a quarter inch foam that's going to glue it to the outside of the box. I got foam on the bottom and then the glass will sit inside here, the insert. So I'm going to do this as part one video because I got to glue this up, wait for it to dry, um, glue the cement, the, the temperature sensors, thermocouples to the glass and get it all set up. And especially since outside it's not very um, hot, it's only about 70 some degrees. So I want a really good hot day, like 85, 90 degrees before um, I run the test. So. See you uh, on part two video when I actually finish these up and put them outside and um, record the temperatures and see if tinted glass actually gets hot because the thought is the the sun actually hits it and kind of bounces in it and glass gets really hot which causes it to shatter. So um, we'll find that out in the second video. Thanks for watching.